In February of 2004, the iPod gained a new member of the family, the iPod Mini. This new smaller iPod version brought the click wheel that we know today and several fun colors, such as this blue one I have here. A second generation model was introduced in February of 2005 with slightly updated hardware. However, a new technology was starting to make headway in the portable electronics industry, flash storage. It wasn't long until rumors pointed to a new iPod mini model that would feature flash storage instead. And on September 5th, 2005, Apple held a keynote address titled, It's Showtime. It was at that event that Steve Jobs pointed at the small pocket in his jeans, asking the crowd exactly what that little pocket was for. That morning, the world met the newest member of the iPod family, the iPod Nano. Today, we're looking back at all seven models of the iPod Nano, one of the most interesting product lines Apple ever sold. The first generation brought significant upgrades over the discontinued iPod Mini introduced just a few months earlier. The Nano had a small full color screen that had a massive upgrade over the backlit monochrome mini. This brought the highly popular photo syncing feature from the full size iPod photo to a ridiculously compact MP3 player. Users could now carry pictures and music with them anywhere they went. And the new iPod family also came with a slew of extra features tucked away in a submenu, like a calendar and games. Apple also introduced two colors for the Nano, a normal white finish and a new black color, something that they would also bring to the iPod video released just a month later. The following year, neon colors found their way to a new version of the Nano. The second generation Nano released in 2006 came in five colors at launch with a special edition red color introduced shortly after. The Nano came in three storage capacities, two gigabyte models only coming in silver, four gigabyte variants coming in silver, pink, green, blue, and red, and they also released a high-end eight gigabyte version that was available in black or red. As the year 2007 came, Apple released a product, the iPhone, a device that would change the face of mobile computing forever. However, Apple still continued to hold their annual iPod event. As the fall approached, rumors started circulating that Apple was planning a widescreen iPod Nano with video playback. And Apple didn't disappoint. In September of 2007, the iPod Nano third generation featured a complete redesign of the product. This new Nano came in two storage variations, a silver four gigabyte model and a more mature, somewhat less in your face color lineup for the eight gigabyte model. It still came in the standard black and silver, but also featured blue, green, and red with a special edition pink color being added just before Valentine's Day in 2008. In August of 2008, rumors started to suggest that a new Nano was once again on the way, this time returning to its former design but carrying on the same screen as the third generation. In September of 2008, Apple released a fourth generation of the iPod Nano now featuring nine bold, colorful cases. The black, silver, blue, pink, orange, purple, green, yellow, and red nanos were available on both the 8GB and a new 16GB variant. The new nano took a lot of technology from the iPhone and iPod Touch and brought it to the click wheel based iPod. The biggest thing brought over to the nano was the accelerometer, and now the nano could tell what orientation it was being held in and alter its UI accordingly. This meant video playback was as simple as tilting the device on its side, games were more interesting, and just tipping the Nano over would make cover flow appear. In 2009, Apple released the iPhone 3GS, with one of the biggest improvements being video recording. Rumors started spreading that in September of 2009, a new iPod Nano would come equipped with a camera. At that year's iPod event, Steve Jobs announced that Apple would be entering the video camera market. Using his iconic one more thing phrase, he released a free camera for all iPod Nano customers. The fifth generation of the Nano came equipped with a sub one megapixel camera capable of shooting standard definition video. The Nano camera also came in a variety of fun video filters that could be applied in real time. This new Nano also featured several other major improvements over the previous model, such as a new built-in FM radio capable of pausing for up to 15 minutes as well as flagging songs to your downloads for iTunes the next time you sync your iPod. The fifth generation Nano also had a voice memos feature, a built-in pedometer, a speaker for listening to your videos and music, as well as a larger screen. This Nano came in the same nine colors as before, but now is in a shinier, polished finish that looked even more beautiful. In January, the iPad came out the iPhone 4 was showcased at WWDC, 
and an iPod event was set for September. Rumors started suggesting that the iPod Touch would get a camera and that the iPod Shuffle was getting a small touchscreen. As the Apple event got closer, speculation shifted that the tiny iPod may actually be a new Nano. Steve Jobs announced a completely redesigned Nano that featured the iPod Touch and iPhone's multi-touch technology. The sixth generation Nano radically changed the look of the iPod Nano. It featured a small display with icons that looked like those found on the iPhone. However, this Nano did not run iOS. This new Nano removed many of the features that Apple had introduced over the years in exchange for an ultra-portable, exercise-friendly device. Gone was the camera, video playback, games, the built-in speaker, and the accelerometer. The sixth generation Nano did end up finding a rather unusual purpose. The colorful iPod began to pop up on the wrists of many of the adopters of this tiny MP3 player, and in 2011, Apple took note of the popularity of its product as a watch and released a variant with new watch faces as well as larger, easier-to-tap icons. This Nano came in 8 gigabytes or 16 gigabytes and featured seven colors, silver, gray, blue, pink, orange, and product red. After 2011 bringing nothing more than a software update, rumors pointed to another complete redesign of the iPod Nano. In September of 2012, Apple would release new iPods as part of the iPhone 5 event, and the seventh generation Nano brought back many features that had been lost in the previous model. The biggest returning feature was video playback. However, this new Nano looked less like the old Nanos and more like a shrunken down iPod Touch. The Nano did have a new volume rocker inspired by the iPhone's headphone controls. The center button allowed users to quickly change songs without turning on the display. This new Nano was also the only non-iOS-based iPod to feature Bluetooth support. Initially, the Nano was sold in pink, yellow, blue, green, purple, silver, red, and a short-lived slate finish. The dark slate color was known for its ability to easily scratch and show signs of wear, a problem frequently occurring on the iPhone 5. In 2013, Apple silently replaced their slate finishes on all iPod models with a new space gray color announced on the iPhone 5S. The Nano didn't get another update until 2015 when it got a new coat of paint. The pastel shades of 2012 were replaced with a brand new gold finish and deeper shades of blue, pink, space gray, along with the red and silver models remaining in the lineup. This was the last time the iPod Nano saw any updates. Two years later, the iPod Nano was discontinued. The once mighty iPod line was down to just the iPod Touch. As users replaced their dedicated music players and streaming devices, the Nano found less and less reason to exist. And in 2022, Apple discontinued the iPod Touch, making the end of the entire iPod family. While the iPod may not exist anymore, it left its place on the world. For over a decade, the iPod Nano carried the music its users experienced life's biggest moments with. Now, looking back at the iPod Nano, we are reminded of a simpler time, one defined by great music and colorful iPods. <laughs>